Hong Kong was kind of thrilling and amazing to audiences in the 30s, Godzilla was the same thing when he came out. Guess which country was the one upon which two atomic bombs were dropped? Japan. Guess what it looks like when Godzilla destroys Tokyo? A whole lot like Nagasaki and Hiroshima. So one doesn't have to go very far to see that this was a Japanese version of probably Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, but also it was a stand-in for the bomb and the dangers of it and what can it, it can do. つまり核爆弾の唯一のまた世界初めての被爆国であった日本が全世界に向けて視覚生命を出したというつまりゴジラっていうのは核の申し子っていうことでね何て言うんだろう戦争反対の意味も込めて絶対に核爆弾の使用は愛ならないぞという怒り気持ちを込めてゴジラを作ったわけですね生まれてで我々が小さい時からもうこのなんて言いますかね恐竜のもう先端を行くものとしてずっと小さい時からこれ育ってきたんですよ日本の誇りですね我々世代が一応動物ということになってるんだけども核怪獣であの体全体がねその核ミサイルも通さないもうこのものすごく頑丈にできたわけですよだからあのね軍隊がねいくら攻撃してもね跳ね返すわけそれが日本のゴジラなゴジラ
ぱその唯一の被爆国であった日本人の頭の中からこの核問題がもう消えちゃってるんですね平和のぬるま湯に使ってるようなことになってきちゃったからもう特にあの今の若い人それから子どもたちにこの辺の怖さを訴えてもそれは一体何を言ってるんだとつまり理解してもらえない状態になってきたんですねそこでね、えー、ゴジラを今後どうしようかという話になった時ですねじゃあこの際一旦子供向けのアイドルにしようと。やっぱり小さい子は街を壊したりとかする怖い生き物だけどなんだろうやっぱりゴジラとかはあのー、たまに救ってくれたりする怪物でもあるからいい生き物でもあるっていう怪物だと思います。Japan has a tradition of being at the mercy of nature, earthquakes and typhoons, and things have been happening to them for a long time that they really have had no control over. If a monster appears in a movie,、uh, the American attitude would be, we must do something about this, whereas the Japanese attitude is simply, we must somehow survive this. Fest is a gathering of Godzilla enthusiasts.、Uh, I publish a magazine called G Fan, and I have contributors from all over the country, in fact, around the world. And one year we decided it would be nice to get together and to meet each other, see each other face to face, and we had such a good time we decided to try to organize a convention. And lo and behold, 15 years later, we have about 1,500 people showing up each year to our summer G Fest. Now we're in the dealer's room at G Fest.、Uh, people bring their merchandise、uh, from all over the country. Dealers that usually do mail order business、uh, set up tables and display their goods. And as soon as the door is open, the fans are going to come in because they're looking for that one or two collectibles that they have been trying to find for a long time. Money is almost no object.、Uh, some people will pay、uh, crazy prices for something that they need to fill in their collection, but it's a moment of great excitement.、Uh, it's almost、uh, for some people. Like the hunt for the Holy Grail because they want to get those pieces for their collections. This feels like home. It's been a while, and I haven't had,、uh, had this on in about three years, but、uh, it still fits, and that's good news. You go out at G Fest in your costume, and everybody、um, enjoys it. I think it's something that we all. Like, but in many places we don't talk about it. And here's the one place where we can run up and down the hall screaming, I love Godzilla. You can stand up in the main hall and do your imitations of the monster's cries, and nobody is going to laugh at you. When I pack up for the show to bring my suits, I back my van up to the garage door and I open the door up and I don't bring my suits out into the driveway where people can see what I'm doing because I really don't want to be the guy who lives on the corner who has、uh, rubber monsters in his basement.
people at G-Fest love these old-fashioned monster movies because I think there's a lot of nostalgia tied in. Many of the people are my age, and they grew up watching these movies as kids, and for some reason the attachment stuck with them. But I think more than that, there's a lot of imagination, a lot of craftsmanship in these movies. I think that the people who enjoy them have a, a love for fantasy and the ability to suspend their disbelief so they can enjoy them for what they are and they don't have to have a photorealistic kind of a scene going on in front of them for them to be able to enjoy them. I actually think that's a gift and I think probably most of the people here feel sorry for people who can't enjoy movies with Japanese monsters and Godzilla in them.